In the additional components settings are a few options what might be needed for your customer, with this guide you will know what is possible to activate here. First option is to activate the text to speech function. By activating this box, MobiCall activates its function to generate dynamic or static messages as WAV file, a license and additional software, currently Nuance, is needed for generating WAV files for received texts. By activating, a new setup field will pop up for defining the text-to-speech options. Second option is to activate the NVX server. With the NVX, multiple applications can be created, to help the user with their alarm flows. It is a visualizer which has very much options, like alarm triggering, alarm viewing, pop-up of pictures, building plans, personal editor etc. For designing applications activate the box activate NVX server for customizable web applications for alarm launch, localization, tasks, etc. A new setup field will pop up and the NVX server.x will be added to the auto start menu. Third setting is for the localization and protection of lone worker with the so-called BGR-139 standard. The BGR-139 standard currently is certified with specific NEC and Alcatel devices. By activating this function you can define what device you are going to use for the loan worker protection. In the drop-down menu currently only Alcatel is available. To activate BGR for NEC follow the BGR-139 manual. Fourth setting is to let MobiCall act like a voicemail. By activating this box you have the possibility to define a PBX what you can use for the voicemail function. Fifth setting is for the hotel wake up call. By activating this function you can set up Moby call to receive calls and receive a given time via DTMF. Moby call then calls this device back at the defined time to wake up a passenger or a guest in a hotel. Sixth and last setting is to activate the minibar function. By activating you can define minibars and with what they are filled, by phone can be given what is missing in the minibar to calculate the costs and to refill the minibar. In the conference settings, several options for conference and conference recording can be defined, also necessary settings for the web conference board can be found here. First box is to write the conference status into an SQL table for live conference view. Activate this box to see the live status from a conference in the web conference board. Second box is to write a conference task. By activating this box MobiCall writes the status from a conference into a TMS area to have a clean protocol of the conference. Next setting is to change the default alarm for a parallel conference, alarm 9611 by default. Third box is to reserve lines for outgoing conferences. By activating you can define an amount of phone lines what will be only used for conferences, to ensure that conferences can be established. By activating the setting right below can be used to define which lines should be reserved for conferences, also a queue will be created for conferences only, Q6 by default. Next setting is to define incoming entry numbers to join the scheduled conference rooms which are defined in the web conference board. Fourth box is to let all members in the conference know when a new member joins the conference via a beep tone. Fifth box is to let the first member in the conference know that he is the first member via a voice message. Sixth box is to let all members in the conference know when a member leaves the conference via a beep tone. Next setting is for the global conference and recording settings. Here can be defined general settings for the conferences via Mobi call. Last setting is the extended conference settings where can be some extra settings defined like to use the pin given in the web interface also needed to join the conference.